you diagnosed me as a type 2 diabetic about 12 years ago, actually. Okay. Um, and in the last year or so, I've been, I've been having tingling in my feet, mm -hmm. which I thought was diabetic nerve pain neuropathy. And how did you... How did you come up with that conclusion? Did I say that? No. Or? Well, I mean, you used to, any, every time I came to an appointment, you'd say, do you have any tingling in your feet? And mm -hmm. I'd say, no. You'd yeah. say, do you have any tingling? No, no, no. And then one day, I'm like, oh, there it is. Yeah. It was like you kind of forecasted that it was coming. Oh, my gosh. Um, and so and so you had sent me to Dr. And, uh, and I had went up to see her, um, and then I was telling her about the tingling, and she referred me to a, a neurologist. Okay. Um, he, and so what happened? He, he died, you know, he, you know, he said, it's, you know, you're a diabetic, la la la. Um, and he prescribed some Balta. Um, and so by taking it in a, in the dose he gave me wasn't quite enough. And so, but if I took more, I, it, it made other health problems. Um, and so, then I came to you and I said, look, I'm having these other health issues. So what what issues were you having when the dose of Cymbalta was increased? It, it was enlarging my prostate, I assumed, because I couldn't, it was hard to pee. Okay, so you were having urinary issues when the dose was increased. Yes. And that's when you decided to come back to me for your issues. Yes. Okay. And so what happened to the tingling and numbness when you were taking Cymbalta? It would reduce it uh -huh. on the lower dose, but it right. would not take it away. Right. And so, and he, and and the neurologist had said you can take more. Right. Um, if you feel like you need to, but when I did that, uh huh, it really. So you started having urinary side effects. Yes, to the point that I I thought I'm not taking that extra pill. Right. Did it help your tingling and numbness more when you increased the dose? Um. You know, honestly, I don't know. Okay, all right. Fair I, I didn't. I didn't take two pills, but maybe once or twice because it it, it had an immediate effect Got on it. my prostate. Got it. So let's step back and and would you describe more your symptoms exa exactly what you were feeling in your feet and how it was affecting your life? Um. So I had tingling in the bottoms of my feet. Uh huh. And it, and they both it started in both. I mean, right. it, it it came on. It came, it came on, on one day all of yes, a sudden. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> um, when I laid down at night, flat uh -huh. in bed, it mm -hmm. was it was really. Um, that's when it was very extremely uncomfortable. Okay. Um, and, and it felt like a burn, like they were burning, mm -hmm. and it would even it would even like come up to the tops of my feet. It means like my whole foot was um, inflamed or burning and mm -hmm. tingling. Mm -hmm. um, when I was up moving, mm -hmm. it wasn't as bad, but I always could feel the tingling okay. in my feet. Okay. And it stayed just to your ankles or did it go up above your ankles? No, it, it stayed below. It stayed to my ankles and below. It stayed below your, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so did you have, apart from that burning feeling and tingling and numbness, did you notice anything else? Were you having any issues with walking or no. carrying out anything day to day? Any functional impairment apart from... <coughs> The pain. No, not really. It was um, um, it, and to, if I had to, if you know, if you said what's your pain level with it, mm -hmm. I would say a one. It, it was just tingly. And even at night, it would maybe be a two, mm -hmm. but it was it was still uncomfortable, and it still kept me from sleeping. Um, so far, it had not affected, you know, my walking or running anything like that, which I did very little of anyway. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So, uh, we met around three months back, yep. right? Yep. And you came in with urinary issues. That was the reason you yes. came in and I said, it is likely because of that medicine. And, and so, share what, how your visits here with me have gone about. Well, um, you, you had said, look, we're going to do these exercises. Um, exercises for what? For... For this tingling in my feet. Okay. So, what was your reaction when we first talked about that? Um, very skeptical. Why? Because I didn't, I didn't have any idea how that could help. Okay. The, Fair the, enough. The particular exercise you had me do, you know, 
With that was the back stretching yes. exercise. Yes. I thought, this is not going to have an effect on my feet. Right. But since you're the doctor and I'm not, I thought mm -hmm. I'm going to play along with this. Okay. And when I say play along, I don't really mean play along, but, but when I did do the exercises mm -hmm. in here, mm -hmm. you said, okay, do... Do 15 of those, I'll be right back, or do 20 of those, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. You'd come in, do more, and then you would, you know, you'd make sure I was doing it correctly. And then you'd say, okay, now. And I'd go, wow. It did It did make a difference. So there was a change in your symptoms? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and you encouraged me to do the exercises at home, you know, more, two, three, four times a day. All right. Um, and that was back stretching exercise, extension in line? Yes. Okay. So did I give you the standing one also? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you did both? Mainly the, the... The back stretching. Yes. Okay. Line um, one. Sometimes the, the one standing up when I didn't mm -hmm. have time to do those. Right. Um, and so, um, and, and, but, and then when I came back, you know, you said, so how is it? And I said, well, it's still, you know, it's still tingling. Mm -hmm. um, but I can also confess to not maybe doing the exercises like I should have. Right. Um, but it was still very, I mean, I believed it. And then, and then I, I don't remember if it was the last time, mm -hmm. but you showed me, you explained to me with a picture mm -hmm. of the nervous system, mm -hmm. right? Or, or, right. And, and you explained to me how this was blocked in my lower back from mm -hmm. poor posture, mm -hmm. setting not exercising mm -hmm. and you said these stretches open open this up right and and it made sense to me then okay how it could help mm -hmm. and so then i did go home do them more dedicated and it has relieved my pain it relieved the diabetic nerve pain in my feet okay. the tingling in my feet okay so uh you are doing that so you've been doing exercises regularly now for how long and for how long you've been, been Honestly, doing it pretty well for two weeks because okay. I, I think I was set up the tenth was supposed to be the third week. Uh, right for the last three weeks, you've been doing the exercises regularly. So, yep. what has happened to your symptoms? There's been little or no tingling in my feet. Okay, all right, cool. So, uh, how has it affected your day-to-day -day life now that you're not having any symptoms? Um, sleep better. Obviously, mm -hmm. that was the one. And when I say sleep better, it was. When you when I would lay down to go to sleep, I mm -hmm. could really feel it, mm -hmm. and you know you thought about it, mm -hmm. um, and then when you wake up all through the night or whatever, you could feel it. Right. I'm sleeping better. Mm -hmm. um, it's a it's a relief a little bit, not no you know knowing that. Look, this isn't something I'm going to have to take pills for or possibly um, have to have my feet amputated. A good friend of mine's father um, had type two. Was a, is a type two diabetic, mm -hmm. and through I, I don't know how well he cared for, it, but he had to have both his feet amputated. Which wow. all these things are in your mind, and you're like, oh man, you know what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. But but that exercise that you had me do did take away the the tingling. So I, I know now that it was not permanent, right? And 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 I need to do those exercises probably regularly or at least when the if it comes back to, mm -hmm. to start doing them again yeah yeah so all i am uh so do you believe now that you did not have any nerve damage yes because I, your symptoms are gone i right? definitely believe that yeah so that was a uh, issue coming from your back it was a yes. mechanical issue which was affecting and causing symptoms in your feet Yes. So you don't have any permanent damage in your feet right. as of yet. And I think people, I mean, I thought I did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my neurologist said I cannot fix that tingling, mm -hmm. but I can mask it right. with Cymbalta. Right. But with that came other problems. Right. And it really, I, I don't know if, if it even worked. Yeah. Um, so it boils down to... Uh, Scotty, treating the cause rather than suppressing the symptom. Yes. So, no. uh, you know, there are some tingling and numbness which are true neuropathy. Yes. And so not all back exercises is going to fix this symptom, but right. there is a fair amount actually, which is reversible. And we don't know 
unless we do a full mechanical assessment, yep. whether it is a real neuropathy or whether it can be fixed by correcting the mechanical cause. Right. Well, mine was not permanent, I believe, and I believe yes. the, the exercises definitely cured it. Yeah. Okay, so I do not take Cymbalta no more. Right. Um, the the exercises that you had me do, mm -hmm. um, I do I try to do them somewhat regularly. There's times that I I miss, mm -hmm. um, but I've noticed that. Um, so any, on an average, how often do you miss, or how often do you do? Oh, I'd say I try to do them at least two, two to three times in a seven day period. Well, just two or three times. Yes, and sometimes that sometimes I'll lay at night, and I don't know if it's because I've. Uh, maybe took in too much sugar or what, but I'll start to feel it. And then, then I'll go back and do them mm -hmm. the next day, two or three times that day, a couple times the next day, and maybe the third or fourth day even. And then it, it goes, and then I get back to my lazy self. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So over the last two months, um, so you are doing exercise on an average. How many reps do you do when you do do it? I try to do three, like, Three at fifteen or twenty. Uh, so a day. fifteen repetitions. Or, I mean, yes, like fifteen, and I'll try to do. I'll do fifteen, and then I'll rest a little bit. All right, and then awesome. I do. Then I do fifteen more. Okay. Um, so you are doing a total of around forty-five reps at a time. Yes. And on an average, you are doing two or three times a week. Yes. And yes. this is for the extension in line. Yes. Do you do the standing one, the extension in standing? Not as much. Okay. Not as much. Um, I do it sometimes, but I don't do it for great lengths. But I do it when I'm when I first get up and I'm stiff and things. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do it to kind of loosen me up. Okay. Have you made any changes in your posture? Um, honestly, I probably still don't set up. You know, I still have a recliner. I get in at okay. times. Um, I love your honesty, man. Well, there's no reason to 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 yeah to not shoot straight. Um, but I, you know, so I would say no, but, um, but I know those, the exercises are keeping me tingly free in mm -hmm. my feet. Mm -hmm.